Are you turning your iPad in over the summer and not sure you're going to receive the same iPad back to use next year with your class? Well, one of my quick tips and recommendations would be to delete all of the apps that you've downloaded through your own personal iTunes account. That's really important for just security reasons because all of these apps that I've downloaded that are free or maybe even paid are tied to my iTunes account. So every time an update becomes available, for example, next year someone gets your iPad and there's an update available. When they select update, it's going to ask for your iTunes password. And so if they type that in too many times, it can lock you out of your account. The best thing to do is just delete all of the apps so that they're not there on that iPad any longer. So very easy. We're going to go to the iPad here. To delete an app, you'll just hold down on an app until it jiggles and just press the X to get rid of the app. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. Now, when you delete these apps, you don't need to worry that you're going to have to buy them all over again or how am I going to search for them because later on in the future, when you come back to school at the start of the year, all you have to do is go back to your app store. So I'm going to open up my app store. You'll go ahead and log in, and I'm already logged in right now. And it's taken a while to load. You'll notice on the bottom of the iPad it says purchased. So it remembers everything that I've purchased through my personal iTunes account. And it'll bring those things up, and all I'll have to do, well, okay, I'm not signed in. So everything's finally loaded after I press that purchased button. And now I can go ahead and I can download the apps that I just deleted from my iPad. So you'll see anything with a little cloud here is something that you can download onto your iPad. I'm going to click that button. And you know, if it wants, it'll listen. And it should download onto, there we go, now it is. It's installing. It was being a little slow. Installing onto my iPad. And you'll see that everything else that says open, those are things that are currently on your iPad at that time. So no worries once you delete it, you get your iPad next year and you're worried, well, am I going to have to pay for that app again? No, you're not going to have to pay for it. And if they're free, how in the world am I going to know all of the names of those free apps that I've downloaded? Not a big deal. You just press purchase and you can scroll through the apps that you've downloaded, I mean, you've downloaded previously and re-download them onto your iPad.